Hi, this is Skid Kelly, and in this video, we are going to use Easy C version 4 for Cortex to create a tank drive teleop program for our protobot or our freeze tag robot. Let's start by opening the Easy C program by double clicking on the desktop icon. Now let's go to the file on the menu bar and click New Standalone Project. Select the Joystick Project Wi-Fi and click OK. This should bring the main program flowchart up. We want our robot to continually check back for a fresh command from the joystick and we'll do this using a wild loop. Click the plus sign beside the project flow. Click and drag the wild loop between the variable block and the end block. When the wild loop block opens Enter 1 in the text box beside the word while. This keeps the wild loop true and creates an infinite loop. Then click OK. Now we are ready to add our joystick control. Click the plus sign beside joystick. Our robot has two drive motors, and we're going to program it for tank drive. Click and drag the tank two motor block onto the line between the two bracket blocks on the wild loop. This will bring up the tank two motor window. Looking down the window, we first see a text box for transmitter. Your primary transmitter is joystick 1. Joystick 2 would be if you are using a second transmitter to also control your robot. Next is the text boxes for the transmitter channel. This refers to the game sticks on your transmitter. Channel 3 is the y-axis on the left game stick. Channel 2 is the y-axis on the right game stick. The next text boxes are the motor numbers. These refer to the motor port we plugged our motors into on the robot controller. Remember, we plugged our left drive motor into motor port 2 and our right motor into motor port 3. The default tank 2 motor block is programmed so we shouldn't have to invert either motor, but the option is there should we like to customize the way our robot drives. Leave all the settings the same and enter into the comment box default settings and click OK. We have just completed our teleop program. Let's save our project. Go to File on the menu bar, click on Save File, in the Save Project window, highlight Enter Name and enter Default Tank Drive. Now click OK.